Hi again, Mark here from Talking Bass. Today I'm answering a question I get asked so often in weekly Talking Bass Q&A over at the study group. Should I get an active or a passive bass guitar? So, first of all, what's the difference between passive and active basses? Well, it's all to do with the pickups, or more accurately, the electronics and preamp that work alongside the pickups. A passive bass is a normal, run-of-the-mill bass with a basic single tone control. The term active bass usually refers to the addition of a preamp, the same one as you would get in, let's say, your bass amp, and this preamp is powered by a battery. So think active is powered, passive is not. Now, most active basses have passive pickups with active circuits, but some basses do have actual active pickups like those made by EMG. In those cases, you're looking at pickups that are battery powered rather than the preamp, so it's important to make that distinction. However, for the most part, when you're shopping around for a new instrument, the term active bass will refer to the active preamp in there, not the pickups. So, let's have a closer look at what's happening here. All basses have a set of pickups that create an electrical signal from the plucking of the strings. Now, I won't bore you with the more intricate details of how that happens. Just Google Faraday's law of induction and then how pickups work and it should all make a little more sense. But basically, we get a voltage from the movement of the strings through a magnetic field. Now, if you've ever taken the case off your pickups, you'll see the copper wire around a magnet. That's our magnetic field. So pluck the string, it moves through that field, and hey presto, electricity. So on a regular passive bass we get an electric current from our pickups which then passes through single volume and tone controls and out through the lead to an amp. Simple as. Now the important thing to realise here is that the tone control is just a simple resistor acting on that current that we've created. So we can only take away from the signal, we can't add anything to it. Boosting would mean bringing extra power in from somewhere. So here on this passive Fender Precision, I've got the pickups, the volume and the tone control. When the tone control's up full, that's the signal coming directly from the pickups. Nothing more, nothing less. When I turn down on the tone, I'm just cutting the upper frequencies. So a tone control on a passive bass can only cut, it can't boost. On an active bass, that electrical signal comes out of our pickups in just the same way that it did on a passive bass, but then it runs into a powered preamplifier. This allows us to have all kinds of tone controls like we would on a regular bass amp. This is simply because we're supplying more electric into the mix from the battery. Instead of cutting the tone, like on a passive bass, we can boost any frequency. This means we can have a bass control, treble control, mid control, and even parametric mid control where you select the frequency required. Anything you might have on a bass amp can be fitted on the bass itself. That's all it is. We're taking the features of a preamp and putting them on the bass so it's all right there at the fingertips. So on this Fender Jazz bass, I've got DiMaggio pickups running into a Glockenklang active preamp. I've got a volume control, pickup select, and then I've got treble and bass control so I can boost the treble and bass rather than just cut. So everything flat, it sounds like this. Okay, then if I boost the treble, and let's boost it all the way so you can hear how it sounds. Okay, so a lot brighter tone there. Or for slapping. Okay, so you can hear it's a lot, lot brighter there. If I boost the bass control, it's going to get a lot more boomy. So let's boost it all the way. Okay, and slapping really here it's got a lot more low end there and if I boost both of them full treble and bass okay so you know it really changes the sound in there now when I first started playing as a kid I had no idea about any of this I just thought an active bass had an inherently different tone to a passive bass and you know just because and this isn't the case at all most active basses will have a bypass switch so you can go between the direct passive signal and the affected active signal if you set everything flat on your tone controls you'll pretty much have the same kind of sound the main difference will be your overall level because an active 
active circuit is powered, you'll get more output in active mode. But in terms of tone, it's just a case of having more options right there on the base. Now, in the case of actual active pickups like the EMGs I mentioned, the pickups themselves have to be powered. The pickups are wound to have less output, which is then boosted via the battery. It's often said this results in low noise and a more hi-fi kind of tone. Some players love them. It all depends what you're going for. So this brings us to the big question, which is better, passive or active? Well, as you've probably already guessed, the answer is neither. It all depends on what you want from the instrument. Regular passive instruments are great. If you just want a bass you can pick up and play with no extra bells and whistles, then go passive. In deciding whether to go active or not, you have to look at the pros and cons. Active basses require a battery, so that's your first issue right there. I've used active basses for most of my playing career, and even though changing the battery isn't a regular occurrence, it is something to bear in mind. As the battery starts to die, you start to get a bunch of different tells in the sound. Your level starts to drop, the tone starts to thin out, and eventually distortion starts to creep in before its you know, final last gasp. It's like the five stages of grief, and it can all take place in a single set. If you're on stage, as it starts to happen, all kinds of things can go through your mind because you might not initially realize it's the battery. You can start looking to every bit of your gear for problems because a lot of the symptoms are similar to issues you might get from a bad lead or a dodgy amp. Luckily, most actives have a bypass switch so you can get around it that way, but it's still something a lot of players don't want to ever deal with. As for the pros of going active, it's all about choice. You can adjust your tone right there on stage, on the fly without having to go over to the amp. Setting up your tone at source also helps if you're going direct to the mixer, you know, pre-EQ or before your amp. Another pro for some is the preamp buffering and added output level. This can help with retaining your sound on long cable runs and gives you more signal to play with in a variety of different inputs on amps and recording equipment. However, this additional output level is also another con for some people in that it can be too much level for some effects pedals. Some pedals just don't play nice with active basses. As I said, it's all about your needs as a player. Don't just think, oh, I need an active bass because I hear they're better. That's not the case at all. If you want to go for a more traditional kind of sound, then you can't do any better than just grabbing a passive P bass or jazz. No need for active circuits, you know, no need for tons of tone shaping. They are what they are. The lack of variables in there can make everything a lot more straightforward. So, like this vid if it's helped, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment, then check out the Talking Bass website for hundreds more free lessons on every topic imaginable, all systemized for ease of navigation. Okay, I'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.